Hello, investors and financial enthusiasts. This is Iggy from Investing Iguana, your go-to source for in-depth stock market analysis. Today, we're diving into Behind SBS Transit Share Price Drop, a strategic financial review, as a follow-up request by a fellow audience member who asked about SBS Transit in my previous YouTube video. In this episode, we'll be unraveling the recent 4.2% drop in SBS Transit share price. As a seasoned financial analyst with a keen eye for market trends and company fundamentals, I'll guide you through a detailed examination of SBS Transit's financial performance, focusing on its return on equity, ROE, and how it plays a crucial role in understanding the company's current situation and future prospects. We'll explore the factors behind the share price decline and assess whether this represents a temporary setback or a deeper financial concern. So, sit back and join me as we dissect the financial dynamics of one of Singapore's key transport players and what its ROE reveals about its long-term potential. SBS Transit, a notable player in Singapore's transport sector, recently experienced a slight dip in its share price, dropping by 4.2% over the past month. Despite this, the company's core fundamentals remain solid, often a reassuring indicator of potential future market performance. In light of this, we're turning our focus to a crucial metric in evaluating SBS Transit's performance, the return on equity, ROE. ROE is an essential tool for gauging the effectiveness of a company's management in using shareholders' capital. Essentially, it measures the profitability generated from each dollar of equity. The formula for calculating ROE is Return on equity equals net profit divided by shareholders' equity. Applying this formula, SBS Transit's ROE stands at 10% equals 68 million Singapore dollars divided by 665 million Singapore dollars based on the trailing 12 months to June 2023. This figure signifies that SBS Transit generated a profit of SGD 0.10 for every SGD 1 of shareholders' equity over the last year. Why ROE matters? Return on equity, ROE, is a financial metric that measures a company's profitability in relation to the equity held by its shareholders. It's calculated by dividing net income by shareholders' equity. Essentially, ROE tells us how effectively a company is using its equity to generate profits. However, ROE is more than just a measure of profitability. It can also serve as an indicator of a company's potential for future earnings growth. This is because a high ROE suggests that a company is able to generate a high return on the money that shareholders have invested. This could be a sign of efficient management, effective use of assets, or a strong competitive advantage. The potential for future earnings growth largely depends on how much profit the company reinvests or retains, as opposed to distributing it as dividends. This is known as the retention ratio. A high retention ratio means that a larger portion of the profits are being reinvested back into the company, which could be used for things like research and development, capital expenditures, or paying down debt. These investments can lead to increased productivity, innovation, and ultimately, higher earnings in the future. A comparative look at SBS Transit's earnings growth and ROE. SBS Transit has a return on equity, ROE, of 10%, which is quite impressive, particularly when compared to the industry average of 7.5%. ROE is a measure of a corporation's profitability that reveals how much profit a company generates with the money shareholders have invested. A higher ROE indicates that the company is using its investors' funds more efficiently. However, despite this strong ROE, SBS Transit has experienced a 5.4% decline in net income over the past five years. This is a significant concern because net income is a key indicator of a company's profitability. The fact that a high ROE has not translated into earnings growth suggests that there may be other factors influencing the company's performance. These could include the company's dividend payouts or competitive pressures in the market. Interestingly, while SBS Transit's earnings have been shrinking, the broader industry has seen a 1.9% growth in earnings over the same period. This contrast is significant because a company's value is often linked to its earnings growth potential. 
If a company's earnings are growing at a slower rate than the industry average, it could be a sign that the company is underperforming. Understanding whether this growth or decline is reflected in the stock price is crucial for investors assessing SBS Transit's future outlook. One way to gauge this is by examining the price-to-earnings (PE) ratio, which reflects the market's willingness to pay for a stock based on its earnings prospects. A high PE ratio could indicate that the market has high expectations for a company's future earnings growth. Conversely, a low PE ratio could suggest that the market has lower expectations for the company's future earnings. In conclusion, while SBS Transit's ROE is impressive, the lack of earnings growth and the contrast with industry trends raise questions about the company's performance and future outlook. Investors should consider these factors, along with the company's P.E. ratio, when evaluating SBS Transit stock. Is SBS Transit effectively using its retained earnings? SBS Transit, over the past three years, has maintained a median payout ratio of 50%. This ratio is a financial metric that is essentially the proportion of earnings paid out as dividends to shareholders. The company's 50% payout ratio implies that it retains the other half of its profits for reinvestment back into the business. This is a common practice that companies use to fuel future growth. However, despite retaining half of its profits, SBS Transit has not seen any growth in its earnings. This lack of growth could be indicative of underlying issues that are not immediately apparent from just looking at the payout ratio. These issues could potentially be related to the company's business operations. For instance, there could be inefficiencies in the company's operational processes, or the company could be facing increased competition in its market. It's also possible that the company's products or services are not performing as well as expected in the market. Furthermore, the company's longstanding commitment to paying dividends, even potentially at the cost of business growth, suggests a management priority that could be impacting overall growth. This could mean that the management values the short-term benefits of providing consistent returns to shareholders over the long-term benefits of growing the business. While this strategy can help maintain shareholder confidence in the short term, it might also limit the company's ability to invest in opportunities for expansion or improvement. Moving on, let's now break down the factors that could influence the performance of SBS Transit stock in the coming year. 1. Understanding the ROE Impact SBS Transit's return on equity, ROE, is a critical indicator of how effectively the company is utilizing shareholder capital. With an ROE of 10%, SBS Transit stands above the industry average, suggesting efficient management. However, this strong ROE has not translated into earnings growth, as seen in the company's 5.4% net income decline over five years. Going into 2024, it will be crucial to watch whether SBS Transit can leverage its ROE to reverse this trend and stimulate earnings growth, which could positively impact its stock price. 2. The Dividend Payout Conundrum SBS Transit's consistent dividend payouts, even amidst declining earnings, suggest a management focus on shareholder returns. However, this strategy might come at the expense of reinvesting into growth opportunities. In 2024, the company's approach to dividend payouts versus reinvestment will be a key factor to watch, as it could significantly influence the stock's attractiveness to different types of investors. 3. The Macroeconomic Environment With Singapore and the global economy facing challenges such as high inflation and volatile interest rates, transport companies like SBS Transit may experience fluctuating demand and operational costs. These macroeconomic factors could impact SBS Transit's financial performance and, subsequently, its stock price in 2024. 4. Industry and Competitive Dynamics the transport sector in Singapore is highly competitive and regulated. SBS Transit's ability to innovate, improve operational efficiency, and adapt to changing regulatory landscapes will be critical in maintaining its market position and supporting its stock price. 5. Potential for Growth and Expansion Finally, SBS Transit's potential for growth and expansion, particularly in areas such as digital transformation and sustainable transport solutions, could provide a boost to its stock in 2024. 
Investors will be looking for signs of strategic initiatives that promise long-term growth beyond the usual business cycles. And that concludes our in-depth exploration of SBS Transit's recent share price drop and its financial underpinnings. We've taken a closer look at the company's ROE, a critical measure of profitability and efficiency, and how it factors into the broader context of its financial health. Despite the challenges reflected in the share price decline, SBS Transit's fundamentals, such as a solid ROE, suggest potential resilience and long-term viability. However, as we have seen, multiple factors, including earnings retention and dividend policies, play a significant role in shaping the company's growth trajectory. This analysis serves as a reminder that in the world of investing, a comprehensive understanding of a company's financial health is crucial. It's not just about the numbers, it's about what lies beneath them. This is Iggy from Investing Iguana, helping you navigate the complexities of the financial market. Stay tuned for more insights, and remember, informed investing is the key to success. Until next time, stay sharp and keep analyzing.